Oh, hello. In today's video, we're going to do something super quick and easy, and that's inserting virtual instruments onto tracks in Reaper. So let's get into it. Okay, so here I am in a blank Reaper project, and this is Reaper 6 with the default theme. And I'm going to show you the super easy way to do this first. If I right click in this gray area here on the left and say insert virtual instrument on new track, click that, and then I can load up any of my virtual instruments, and I'm just going to use one of the default Reaper ones, and it's called ReSynth, which is just a super, super, super basic synth. I'll open that up, and there we go. We have a basic, basic synthesizer. All ready to go, all set up. We have MIDI set in with all of our inputs, and we have record monitoring on, and all that sort of good stuff so that things sound good and they're working. But I do want to show you how that even happens so you can understand how to set this up the old fashioned way or just so you can understand what's actually going on in Reaper to make it so that this keyboard is talking to this synthesizer right here. Now what I'm about to show you applies to any instrument. So if you're loading up Massive or Serum or East West or anything like that, totally applies. I'm just going to use Resynth here because it's easy. Everybody has it and it's super easy to follow along with. So I'm going to delete this track right here. And I'm just going to create a normal everyday track. And my shortcut for that is Command T, but some of you may have something different. So I have this track here and you can see that it's completely blank. First thing I want to do is go down to my mixer and then I want to open up a VSTi on it. In this case, it's going to be recent again. So I'll just double click that. But you'll see that when I start hitting my keyboard, nothing happens. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click record enable. Still nothing happens, but that's one step of the way. Next thing we need to do is go to where our, it says input one. We want to click that, go to MIDI, and you can see my MIDI controller here, which is the M Audio Code 61. I can hit all channels just so it's receiving from everything at once. And now when I hit my keyboard, you can see MIDI information is coming in with that little bar, but we still don't hear anything because there's one crucial step left. And what we need to do is turn on record monitoring and record monitoring lets us hear what we're currently recording. That's all it is. And it's an every DAW. So the easy way to do this is you can see this kind of speaker icon here to the right of the record button. I just need to click that and that will turn on record monitoring. Or we can right click this kind of record button here and you can also say monitor input. Both ways work completely fine. Now, just so we all have the same action set up, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to go to my actions menu, which is question mark. That's my shortcut for it. And I'm just going to type in instrument and you'll see there is a action here called insert virtual instrument on new track. And I recommend setting that up. Mine is command option I, but you can set it up to be whatever you want. And that way, when I hit command option I, it will automatically show me my virtual instruments that I already have. And you can see I've already typed in something into the search box, which is re so I can find the re synth, double click that. And just like that, my MIDI channels are set to all my record is on and my record monitoring is also on. So everything's good to go. And we can play right away. So super simple, super straightforward. That's how you set up a virtual instrument in Reaper. So I know that was a quick one for you today. We didn't even have time to have tea with Thane with this one, but I hope you liked it. And if you want to get more advice on how to work in the game industry, including advice on how to find work in the game industry, and get paid for it, and at the time of this, how to get paid during a global pandemic, you should sign up for my newsletter, which gives you two free courses, free sounds, free eBooks, all this exclusive stuff to teach you how to work in the game industry as a game audio pro full-time, whether you want to be indie or AAA. So thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.